I mean, look at the size of these things. They're gigantic. They are, they are quite heavy. Uh hey, what's going on, all you beautiful builders out there? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I mean, when it rains, it pours. I just keep getting boxes in. We got pack nine of the Agora models. Build your own G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, in pack eight, we finished the whole left leg. So I'm assuming this is going to be the whole right leg. I've not opened up the build instructions yet on the site, but I'm guessing, uh, judging from the weight of this, it's probably going to be the right leg. So let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and cut the seal on this. Wrong side. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got inside. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. This is the part for the right leg. Go ahead and get those trays out. This is awesome, man. All right, let's get rid of the box. Okay, guys, we got all three trays laid out here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we got our big, again, heavy metal, beautiful metal piece here, uh, just like that was on the left leg. We've got the screen mesh, and we've got this piece that holds it on. All right, we're going to put the mesh on here. Just like that. And then we're gonna add a little glue and then we're gonna hold the whole thing on with this piece here. Then we're gonna put a little drop of glue on each one of these. Put this on and then we're just gonna hold that down until it sets. All right guys, it's gonna look just like that. All right, now we're gonna get this piece that goes on it and it's gonna set on just like this. And we're going to screw that on with eight PWM 2x6 screws. That's the one that has like the little built-in washer. But first, we're going to add a little oil to all these places here uh, where we're going to screw in. There we go. All right, we got the oil on. Let's go ahead and put this back on and start screwing it down. All right, that's one. Let's go ahead and do the other seven. All right, it's gonna look just like that. All right, now we're gonna be covering it up with this piece here, and we have this little uh, rubber sleeve here, like we had in the other one. And we're gonna put that right down in this hole right here, just like that. And then this is gonna go over the top like this. And we're going to fasten this down with eight more of the PWM 2x6 millimeter screws. And uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel. All right, let's get that back on. Let's go ahead and start putting them screws in. All right, here we go. Here's one. We'll go ahead and do the other seven. All right, it's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we got two of the three uh, M three by eight screws with the Loctite on them, and two of these uh, lock washers. I had to look these up because I wasn't sure what they're called. They have that kind of crimped edge on them. These are called Tooth Star lock washers, and then the other ones, of, of course, these are called uh, a split lock washer. Yeah, Tooth Star lock washer. I never knew what they were called before. All right, one of them's gonna go right in here. Get that one going. Now these things are gonna lock this thing down really good. And the other one goes right here. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna flip it back over this way. Right? And we're gonna need one PB 2.6 by eight screw. And we're gonna be putting that here in the front. It's gonna go right here in this hole. And this one's screwing into plastic so we don't need any oil on it. We want to get nice and snug just like that. Right in there. All right, we're going to set this part aside and start on the next piece. 
Okay, moving on to the other side of this big piece of metal, we're going to put the other screen on and the little holder here. Put the screen on over those pins. Once again, we're going to put a little glue on them. All right, let's get this put on. And we're going to hold that in place for a couple minutes till it dries. All right, it's going to look just like that. Okay, now we're going to put this part on and we're going to fasten it down with eight of the PWM 2x6 screws. Again, it's going to go right here. We're going to put a little oil on there first. All right, let's go ahead and sit this on here. And then remember on this one, we're going to have this piece of sticking out this side, so it's not going to be able to sit flat. All right, let's get a couple in here and there, and then we can uh, get the rest of them screwed on. All right, there's all eight screws. going to look like that. Okay. All right, we have this piece right here. And that's going to be going on this side. You see these two holes here. It's going to go this direction, bending towards this round circle. There's a oval indention there with the two holes that that's going to fit into. I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to screw that on from the other side with two of the uh, PWB 2.6 by 8 screws. I'm going to get both of them started in there, and then I'll tighten them down. You got to snug these down pretty tight to get that uh, to not move around. So, all right, there we go, and that's nice and solid. Gonna look just like that. Okay, now we have these four pieces here with these uh, vents and five of the PB 2.6 by 8 screws. So we're gonna turn this over, and the vents you can see which way they go. They only go in one direction, and we're just gonna slide them down in there. Just like that. I'm going to put one on the other side. Like that. All right, and then we're going to put this on top of there. Flip it in. It's going to kind of snap in there. All right, and we're going to screw that in with those screws. All right, get those nice and snug. It's going to look just like that. All right, now this is going to go on this side. You have these two holes here, here, and here. And it's going to fit in just like that. And we're going to screw that in on the other side with two PWA, uh, PWB 2.6 by 8 screws. All right, so these are the PWB, not the PB. The PWB has like a little built-in washer on it. All right, let's go ahead and get these put in. You want to make sure you only push on this side uh, because on this side it's not connected to anything and it could break. There's one. Let's get that other one in. Get those nice and snug, and that's going to look just like that. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you're fastening stuff on this side, be careful because there's just a gap all the way around here. It's only connected on this side with the two screws, so you could break that uh, if you're not careful. All right, now we got this big piece that's going to cover all this again, and we're going to attach that with the eight PWM 2x6 screws. And, of course, we're going to put a little oil on there first. All right, let's go ahead and get this on like that, and we're going to go ahead and start putting them screws in. All right, it's going to look just like that. All right, we got two of the uh, M 3 by 8 screws and two of the Tooth Star lock washers. I'm going to go ahead and put those in, just like we did on the other side. One's going to go here, that nice and snug. And one's going to go right here on the front. There we go. Got those both on. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put one PB 2.6 by 8 screw in the front right here. like that all right and that's the end of that side there okay we need to bring our foot up here all right we're going to put this on this side of the leg here and uh, we're going to line those four holes up with these four spots here like that and we're going to screw it in from this side with the four pb 2.3 by 8 screws get all four of them in 
All right, it's going to look like that. Okay, now we're going to put this on the other side, and we're going to attach that with those four M 3 by 10 millimeter screws and four of the Tooth Star lock washers. I'm going to go ahead and put those washers on. All right, again, this needs to go on this side. And let's see if we can get one of these started in here. All right, got that one on now. It'll look just like that. All right, now we got this piece and we're gonna attach it on to the front of the foot here with four PWB 2.6 by eight screws. That's just gonna go on just like this. I'm gonna screw those down. And there's one, we got three more. All right, and that's all four on there. It's gonna look like that. All right, now we got these two pieces, the these uh, chrome silver chrome louvers here. We're gonna put them inside of this here. It's gonna go this way around and sit on just like that. And we're gonna attach that down with four PWM two by six screws. All right, got one here. And got that one in. We'll do the other three. All right, that's all the way on. It's gonna look like that. Okay, now we have these two pieces here. And we're gonna attach these together with four of the M three by eight millimeter screws and four of the washers here, the Tooth Star washers. All right, this is gonna go on uh, just like this, or these four holes and these four are gonna line up. Uh, and it's gonna look like this right on the top. It's gonna to fit right together. And we're going to go ahead and secure that down with those screws. Okay, it's going to look just like that. All right, now these two are going to attach together. They're going to go on just this direction like this. And we're going to screw that in with four of the M3 by 8 screws and four of the washers. All right, we're going to go ahead and put one in right here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and do the other three. All right, we're going to look just like that. All right, now we're going to take that piece that we just completed and we're going to attach it to the leg here. Okay, it's going to go this way. There we go. And now we're going to attach that down with two PB 2.6 by 8 screws. And they're going to go right here in these two front holes here and here. There we go. It's going to look like that. Now we need four PWB 2.6 by 8 millimeter screws. And we're going to put two on each side. Let's turn it this way. And we're going to get one right here and one right here. Get this one going first. There we go. And now this one. Then all the way in. Just like that. Okay, now let's flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm going to be careful with this because I don't want to break it. All right. Got those all in. Okay, now we got this silver vent piece here, and that's going to go down into this hole right here. I'm going to go this way around. Just going to push that in and pop it in. There we go, just like that. And we got these two pieces that's going to cover up the screws on the sides. All right, just find the right one for the right side. The one marked with a two on it right there is going to go on the right side of the foot. There we go. And then the one marked with a one is going to go on the left side of the foot. There we are. Snap it down good like that. Okay, now we have these two pieces uh, marked three and four. And we're going to glue the magnets inside here and here. We got two little magnets here. Get that open. 
Okay, we got the two magnets. I don't think it matters which way they go for polarity. We're gonna put a drop of glue inside each one of these. Put a magnet in there. I need something plastic. Push it down in there. Get this other one in. Push it down in there. And I'll wipe off the excess glue. There you go. We're gonna set that to the side and let those dry. And then we're gonna move on to the back part here. We have this piece here and two PWB 2.6 by eight screws. All right, and this is just gonna go right on top of here, just like that. And we're gonna fasten that in here and here with those two screws. Good. All right, now we got this nice metal piece here and uh, four more of those PWB 2.6 by eight screws. And we're going to attach this on. Okay, it's going to line up right over this blue piece here. And that's going to line up these four holes where we're going to put the screws. All right, there's all four of them in. It's going to look just like that. All right, now we have this silver piece here. And this piece here that's got the nice paint job on one side. And the other side is plain. All right, that's going to attach on. It's going to fit right in the four holes, just like that. That's on there tight. That's not going to come off there. Okay, now this piece is going to fit in here. Now, last time I had to glue it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little glue now right on the four pins in here. Okay, sit in there and push it on. Just hold that for a minute. Let that dry. Okay, right, it's going to look just like that. All right, we're going to take our leg again, and this piece is going to go on the leg. It's going to clip right into these two slots here and here. Just like that. And then we have this uh, blue piece here that's going to cover this hole. It's going to fit on and snap right in. Just like that. Now we're going to come back over to this side, and we have this silver piece here. And it's going to connect into these two holes uh, in this direction with this piece going up here. I'm going to hold it on its side a little. Get those pins started. All right, guys. I don't know why my recorder stopped um, when I put this piece in. Uh, it was just like the other side. Uh, basically just uh, screwed this piece onto here with these two PWB 2.6 by 8 screws and then just stuck it in the side like that, just like it did on the left foot. And that's all you do, and it holds that foot from sliding up and down. All right, so let's go ahead and get these pieces here that we glued the magnet onto, and let's put those in. This one goes on this side. You just slide it in there, and it should just magnetize right in. Yeah, just like that. And then on this side, the same thing. There it goes. And it'll look like that. And that, and that's that ankle piece that I just showed you I put in. All right, guys, and that is the end of pack nine. Holy cow, are we getting close to the end of this thing. Let's uh, get a good look all the way around it. Thing's just massive. Wow. Let's go ahead and get back to the main camp. All right, guys, like I said, that is the end of pack nine. We got three left to go. And uh, here is the completed right foot here it is let's go ahead and hook that up just to show that the lights are still working yep, there they are the toes are lit up nice all right guys i brought the left foot over as well grieve. these things are really heavy it's not easy to hold them both up like this with my arms out i mean look at the size of these things they're gigantic they are they're quite heavy you know you you look at the poster and everything that they show that has the actual size and it just it just doesn't uh it just doesn't register until you got the thing built in your hands uh just how freaking massive this thing is it's it's gigantic it, it really is uh i know it's i sound like a broken record but it's it's huge and heavy and uh it's it's amazing it's something else 
It really is. I can't wait till we get it all built. We only got three packs left, guys. Three more boxes left on this shipment, and uh, this thing will be done. So basically, we have the top of the legs here to build, and the torso, and the weapons, and there are a few other things that goes on uh, these legs, little added things that's going to go on, and uh, and this thing will be done. And wow, I just can't wait. It's gone by really fast. I think I really like that. These 12-month uh, builds as opposed to the two, two-and-a-half-year builds. It really is cool. It really does seem like it's flown by. Um, basically, I'm going to put... I want to put glass cabinets back here to display these in. So I'm going to have to kind of downsize some of my Lego sets. Uh, I'm just really going to keep my um, Ultimate Collector Series sets and all the helmets that are up here. Uh, other than that, I'm probably going to get rid of most of my smaller sets uh, so I can make room for these larger models that's going to go in there. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys are building this as well. Uh, I appreciate to hear about y'all's builds too. and. Um, I really appreciate you watching. If you guys enjoy these types of large scale model builds, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you subscribing and I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.